Hi everybody. So if you're ready to step up to a just a world-class amplifier, you're going to want it point-to-point -point wired. The most amplifiers you see in the $1,000 range, $1,200 range, they're printed circuit boards and those are good for a lot of things, but a point-to-point -point wired uh, amplifier is going to be where the components are all like the size of your thumb put into a breadboard. They're going to carry the, the voltage more all through the system without miniaturizing it and um, you're just going to get more power, more definition, more headroom. You'll get more bass response. But to do a point-to-point -point wired amplifier with reverb like these three is been traditionally about 2500 bucks. That has gone up uh, and the increase in prices now to get something that's really um, made well, bulletproof, made like the old amplifiers where they weren't making an amp to, to a price point, they were simply trying to make it as indestructible as possible and as musical as possible. All three of these have a common element in it. They have a pine finger jointed cabinet. And so instead of being made of plywood, they're pine which is more resonant. If a plywood is really mostly glue and it resonates differently and it's heavier. A pine box is going to be better. All of these will also have floating baffles. That is that the baffle boards that hold the speaker are screwed on. They're not glued into place so they're allowed to move a little more with the speaker. All three. When you get into a professional grade amplifier and these are all three the same price you're going to be looking for an amp that you want that just sounds fantastic, is pedal friendly, and um, just will really change your playing, change your dynamics, change the way you feel about the amplifier because you're, as a musician, able to get into an amp that you can really like dial in the sound and if you're feeling angry, you can get the amplifier to respond in that way. So, here's what we have. We have number one, a car in Pala. That's this one. The car is the most wattage. A 6L6 tube, which is your standard like Fender tube. This is a copy of a black face basement with a master volume attached and reverb. So I guess you might say it's a bandmaster, but master volume, overdrive, and then simple treble middle bass. By scooping the mids, you get more of a Fender sound. By increasing the mids, you get a little more of a Marshall sound. The next, I got cue cards. Did you see that? I did them myself. Uh, the next is the Magnetone Twilighter. The Twilighter I have turned around so you can see. The Magnetone is two inputs. Now the second input is a pad. If you start getting loud, you can, you can get less distortion by going into there. If you want more headroom, you go into the second input. It, these were born really to that second input so you could use a microphone or an accordion or something else. You get the most gain out of the high input. That's true of all these amplifiers. And then this too, kind of a simple treble bass reverb on all three of these. This one has some magic juice. Get into that later. Remote speaker so you can add another extension cabinet and then a line out to record. This one is the only one of those and this Magnetone Twilighter is also the most expensive because it's more features on this one. This, of course, is a deluxe hand-wired deluxe reverb. Now, this is a deluxe deluxe. You are all familiar with the Blackface reissue deluxe, but Fender, and we're very proud of them to do this, is making a custom shop hand-wired deluxe. Again, pine cabinet, point-to-point -point wired, and these are all just, just over three or just under three, 27, 29, and 31. And um, the Fender, I'll start with this first. Right now I'm plugging in using a P90 guitar. This is our um, Keith Richards model Les Paul TV from 56. And with the 6V6 tubes, these are notoriously reliable amplifiers. You do have reverb. Vibrato. Now that's something that the Impala doesn't have. It has a master, but it doesn't have. All foot 
it's switchable. Cool. Now, going into the magnetone, and when I'm done talking, I'm going to go through all three of these amps and we're going to dime it and flood that microphone and it won't hear me anymore. But the magnetone. <laughs> sound. The magnetone is made a little different. This is 6V6 and it has a bass response and a response to it. That's quite amazing but there's also you can get your, tr your tremolo same as this but it does pitch changing. great amps with pedals too. The Magnetone is just a super serious amp. Most guys I sell for the Magnetone that, that we sell Magnetones to, we never see them again. They call us and rave about the amplifier. And this is true. Carr is one of the few makers that makes amps that go down to one watt. That's not this. This has just got a master volume on it and these, these do have reverb on it. And they're a long tank reverb, which gives you more, more reverb. Now, I'm not a reverb guy, but... But it does have a master on it, which is kind of a handy thing to have. So I can turn this down. You can also get rid of that dirt and get this to clean. More mids. Less mids. So, there we go. These are all kind of a different flavor. You get reverb and tremolo, two channels with this. That's the one thing about this Fender amplifier, the extra channel can come in handy. This has a master volume, and this has that pitch changing, and its own unique tone character. They all have their own unique tone character. Now, if you're just gonna give me a minute, I'm gonna shut up. I know. I'm gonna shut up, and then we're gonna play through these with some volume, which is gonna flood that mic, and I'll just wave goodbye. So first off, with some gain. Here's the impala. Turn down. Turn down. 